everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and welcome to the next video in my colored pencil series, Getting to Know My Colored Pencils. Um, this happens to be the second video in the series uh, as of January 2024. Um, if you didn't know, I this is based on my list, current list of colored pencils. Um, I did a poll and people requested that they do they be done in alphabetical order so I'm doing them in alphabetical order based on this list um, as of this date I have only done one other set Amazon basics so if you're interested in that if you're interested in any of the others and this is uh, at some point in the future when I might have done them all um, then hopefully you can find them there will be a playlist on my channel um, also, you can search for the name. I tag my videos so that hopefully you can find things pretty easy. So, Ardex colored pencils are what we're doing this week. Here is the color chart. Uh, One hundred and twenty-six colored pencils. I downloaded this chart from Color with Claire, uh, dot com. Right there is the address, so it's free if you're interested. This is, she ordered them in like a color family order, so uh, color groupings, and I really like these. I've downloaded some of the other charts. I may redo my, some of my other pencil charts because I kind of like the way that's done. Um, she did not put the numbers on there. They do have numbers on them. But as you can see, this is a very rich, darker palette. Not a ton of lighter colors, but it's very vibrant, um, and it kind of jumps out at you. And they cover very well, obviously. So here are the pencils themselves. This is the case that I keep them in. I have it labeled. Um, this one is vinyl. It's a shoe liner, 120 pencil case. Um, if you're ever interested in any of the cases you see, let me know. I am happy to find the link for you. If I, it's still available. I buy them all on Amazon. Um, these are the pencils themselves. If you've never seen them, they are beautiful. They might actually be the prettiest pencil that I own. Um, they are totally covered in paint. They have these beautiful little stars. They've got a barcode. They have the name. They do have a unique number, which she did not put on the swatch chart that I downloaded. Other charts that are out there have them, I think. Um, but it doesn't really matter. You can barely read the number. So it's very small, if you couldn't tell. Um, the writing is silver. They say Ardex on them. They do have a 3.8 millimeter core. And that is the pencil itself. So let's look at my color pencil, colored pencil testing worksheet. If you watched the Amazon Basics video, you might notice it's changed just a little bit. Um, I changed it to give myself more space for notes as I realized I needed that. Um, and I, you know, after you use something, then you figure out how you want to use it. So I have modified it just a bit. It's not a ton different. Um, so I did purchase these on April 30th, 2023. Um, I pay like $43.74 at the time. That was a good sale. Um, that's 34 cents a pencil. They list at $55.99 right now. Um, and they are still available on April. On Amazon, um, currently they are twenty eight fifty five. They're on a deal, a uh, special sale that's been for like at least a week or two, maybe since Christmas, um, which makes them twenty three cents a pencil. So they kind of vary in price, um, but definitely under fifty dollars. They are easy to get a hold of. Um, they're nice pencils for, you know, for the money. So. I will fill out, I filled out that part of the chart. I picked out the colors that I'm going to use for my blending tests and layering. Um, for my layering test, for my white on black, I do also compare it to my Derwent Chinese white and my Prismacolor white. So we'll put those on there too. Um, 
Is it water soluble? Does it smudge? Although my hands are freezing. <laughs> so I don't know if I could smudge anything. Um, but we'll see. So let me fill out a couple of parts of this ahead of time, pull out the pencils I've picked, and then we can get started. All right, so here it is filled out. I have put the pencil in there, here and here, to speed up the time, filled in these, and we'll do the blending test together. So, um, we will do um, the orange. So I'm gonna put some yellow down. And I guess I should put like a single color down ahead of time to save time also, but it's a pretty yellow, isn't it? <laughs> Let me put the red on top and see if it makes an orange color. The paper I use is my colored pencil paper, so it does have tooth to it. And it's the, um, basically the GSM that's recommended by Coloring Bliss for colored pencils. And it's definitely an orange color. So I would say that blended together. I don't know whether I'm supposed to put the this is the purple. I know a lot of people love these pencils. And they are very, um, they go down very easily. So I'm gonna put the red on top. I wish I'd made my squares a little smaller. <laughs> Maybe I need to redo the, uh, redo the sheet again and, and make this smaller. <laughs> Cause I wonder if my paper is, well, I mean the pencils should blend. And this never looks purple to me, but then again, maybe I just haven't found the right pencils. I mean, they blend, but I don't see purple. Maybe because they're not blending together. I wonder. This is a thick coat of cardstock that doesn't go through my printer. No, I don't think I'm really getting, I'm getting pretty much the same result there. So, so this is the purple color. And then I'm going to do the blue and the red. Oh, shoot. That was wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I used to keep the eraser there. This may be not a good check. You know, why not? Just do the eraser test now since we have the eraser out. So I grabbed the wrong pencil. I don't think, I think it'll be okay. 
because I took most of the pencil off. I mean, they blend okay. It's not the best blending ever. That's definitely green. Also, I'm sure my blending skills kind of leave something to be desired. Oh, that, that's definitely green. <laughs> kind of have to allow a little for the uh, technique of the person doing the testing. We'll see. That's definitely green color, orange. I think the purple is a little weird, but it did blend. I mean, definitely blend. We can see that they erase, you know, is about as good as a colored pencil can, right? Um, so they don't have a lot of crumbs. I haven't been paying attention. Um, so what I do with this white on black, I just went ahead and put the black there Sometimes I wonder why I did that, because you could just see it over there, but you can see how well the black pencil covers, and you can kind of tell what kind of a black it is. It's a warm black, if you if you know what I mean. Um, I didn't realize until I was painting minis, my husband says, well, you can't just make it black. What kind of undertone do you want? There's different colors of black, and then it opened me to a whole new world. But this is a very warm colored black. Um, all right, so I'm going to put the um, Artex white pencil, which is right here, and we're going to color it right here on this black. So you can see how it does. And, you know, I'm pressing hard enough to put it on there. And I would say they have moderate crumbs if we look at the amount of crumbs that they have. Um, and then I'm going to take my Derwent Chinese White, which is a fabulous white pencil. And we're going to put it here. <laughs> I mean, there's not much that compares to the Derwent Chinese White. And then this is a Prismacolor white pencil, the other favorite of people. So then you can see how it compares to the two favorites. And we'll just put... Uh, Derwent and Prismacolor, that way we know. So there's that. Uh, did I leave myself a brush with some water? That's clean, because I'm so prepared. All right, water soluble. Mm, yeah. And those are definitely moving. So if you want to use... Um, water-based now I can't test all the colors some colors are going to move more than others probably um, because a lot of colored pencils do move with water um, not it just varies in degree um, look I could do that I'm just curious <laughs> the purple does it make purple look at that it does <laughs> it makes purple or kind of like a red violet. Anyway, I'm just being silly. So, it does move with water. Now, let's see if I can warm my hands up to a normal temperature. I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. I mean, I'm not getting a lot on here. I don't know what to rub it with. That's the problem. When your hands are cold, <laughs> You know, of course I could try maybe something that's warmer, but uh, I would say they don't smudge really easily. Um, and I'm pressing pretty hard, so, you know, there's that. Um, let's see if the different colors cover lines. So here's your red. Here's your blue. I mean, they're gonna be about the same, I guess. Here's your yellow. 
I saw here's black. <laughs> that one probably covers the best, right? And here's your white. So, you know, they you might have to color something over your lines if you want to. Um, cover up any lines. I have a bad habit of blowing rather than using my brush. Uh, so let's see. All right, layer test. I put down one layer. Just to get started. Let's see, so that's one layer. So here's layer number two. I'm not getting a lot of crumbs this this time. I'm trying not to press too hard. So that's layer two. So this would be layer three. So I'm getting some traction on layer three. Um, two, three. I'm trying to do them the same. All right, four. So I'm still getting some coverage on four, but I don't think it's gonna go any more than that. Am I gonna add more than four layers? No, probably not. Um, but you can get really good coverage as you can see with these. So you get a decent number of layers. I don't think I wanna go up to five just because I don't really think it's gonna make much of a difference. Um, but you know, that's on you. If, some, if somebody wants me to do all eight layers I'm perfectly happy to do it for you to see what it comes out at I did it on the Amazon basics I went up I think I did to six <laughs> and then I couldn't really I thought I was getting more at some point but then I wasn't so you can see you don't really see the wax bloom until here the rest of them you know but then again I'm not pushing you can kind of see it there it's not terrible. These colors are nice and um, matte. They're not, they don't have a, I, they don't have a waxy, waxy bloom to them. And if you've used a lot of pencils, you know what I mean. Some get waxier faster than others. These are really nice. They have a good texture. Um, they aren't sticky when you put them down. And some pencils, when you lay them down, they feel tacky a little bit because they're soft or whatever. Um, they have a feeling like a crayon, sort of, but not waxy like a crayon when you're pushing on it. I try to describe how they feel because that's a big part of it. I mean, they feel comfortable in my hand. They seem a little bit chunkier, not much, like they're they're like a hair chunkier. So there's something about them, um, but I'm pretty sure they're probably the same size. <laughs> Well, they are like, I think they're a hair, a hair bigger, if you look at them. So, that, I'll have to make some notes down here for my pencil, you know, I'll make some notes in these boxes, um, on the papers, once we test them on the papers, and then I'll make miscellaneous notes, um, <sighs> not really, I would say... The crumbs are light to moderate. I mean, there definitely are crumbs. But, um, you know, you're not gonna... Um, I mean, you're going to get some. They brushed off really easy. I haven't really smeared much on here. So I think we're doing good. I could try to smudge some of these. Or smudge this one. It has a lot on it. But no, nope, I'm mostly just pushing it in. That's what I should do. I should try to smudge the ones that I layer a lot on. <laughs> but no, they're not bad. So anyway, there's my pencil test. Um... So now, what I'm going to do is explain to you how I am going to finish this test. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is in Magical Tiny Houses, this is an Amazon printed book, typical Amazon paper. I'm going to color a full picture, probably not the background, um, with the Artex pencils and only the Artex pencils. And we'll see what my experience is. I did it with the Amazon Basics pencils. Um, and then basically every picture in this book will be colored with a different set of pencils, which is nice. So we'll do this one. It's next in line. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how I feel. I'll get it started here. I need to choose a color palette. Um, and then I'll do a little coloring with you, um, you know, in the video. And then I'll finish it um, either sped up or offline. Then I will have, I have um, Maria Trolla books, Hannah Carlson. I have an eerie book. I have... Creative Haven, um, Johanna Basford, uh, Lulu Mayo, uh, Millie Murata. I have taken all the standard paper, all the most popular papers that people color on, and we're not going to color a full picture. Um, I wanted to do a full picture on Amazon paper because that is the one that a lot of people have the most of and I think are the most curious about because that's the one that I see if you can master this you can master anything but that's not necessarily true because not all pencils um are do well on on all paper as we are discovering so um and I make notes about that which books these pencils are good in based on my test and I have quite a number of different papers I should list those in the description of my video which which book papers I'm uh, testing these on. So I will do that. Um, so let me pick some colors and then come back and we will color this picture. All right, so I'm back. I picked out some colors. Um, I chose a color palette. I wanted to make a teal pumpkin because it's a cool color, an interesting color. So I like these two color palettes, although of course I'm adding more colors. <laughs> sort of. Um, I'm trying to stick to it. Uh, so I pulled out the teals, I pulled out some of these, I pulled out a couple of these. My sunflowers are going to be like a burgundy color, uh, because the, the dark red burgundy is my favorite color of sunflower. Um, that may be a mistake, I don't know. The pumpkins will be orange, I've got some grays for my, uh, kettle here. We'll try to make it look a little bit shiny. Um, or rough. I haven't decided yet. I pulled out, let's see. So I've got a few browns in there, some yellows, some of these deep reds. So let's see. So I'll pull out the, um, the four teals first. Light aqua, jade blue, ocean green, and dark teal in my Artix pencil set. And we'll of course start with the, um, lightest one and see how we go it shouldn't take a terribly long time I just sharpened these uh, so you may see a bit or two come off I'm trying to get better at my pencil pressure so I'm trying to hold the pencil back um, so what it feels like, I mean, this is typical Amazon paper. Um, it doesn't have the black backing. I feel like the Amazon papers, you got a little, a couple different kinds now. Um, but this is not smooth. It's got a, quite a bit of tooth to it. So it sounds, um, scratchy. I mean, it's not terribly scratchy. I mean, these pencils are not scratchy, but, you know, the paper kind of makes them sound that way. We're going to lay down, like, a base color and see what it feels like. So far, um, I really don't have to put any pressure down at all to... Um, 
get color down. I mean, this color, I'm just kind of dragging it across there. I'm not really pressing because I'm way back here. Oops. Paper was kind of bubbled up there. So I like to do it this way. I um, put like a base color down and then make sure you can see everything. Um, and then I'll go add my other colors. Just do this and this. Just want to get down in here. I don't have to worry about uh, getting on the leaves too much because I'm going to be making them green, which will blend in, or it should. So I got in all the crevices of the flowers. And then there is that. Let me speed this up just a minute and uh, do all the pumpkin. Okay, now that I'm done, I have finished the picture. I'm pleased with it, actually. Um, you know, I'm getting better at color, picking color and choosing color, and it's, it's really helping me. I um, So let's talk about this picture and the use of the pencils. So um, on this paper, they don't layer well on the Amazon paper, in my opinion. Um, some of the colors are a lot different in the way they go down than others. I found the greens to be, um, I don't know, not scratchy. I'm looking for a different word other than scratchy. Not scratchy, but I don't know, less, less something. Eh, I'm sorry, I cannot think of a word. These lighter greens, like the greens I used up here were much harder to get to work together than the ones down here, but they're still all kind of laying on top of each other on the Amazon paper. Um, come in, cause you can see. Now if I took some, some Gamsol or something and just blended it in, um, but uh, did I enjoy the experience? I mean, it wasn't bad. Would I use them? I mean, I enjoyed using them on the smaller areas a lot more than the large area, um, just because they were so difficult to work with on this paper. Um, and I was like, ooh, I'm glad the sun, I picked the sun coming down and I, or, or the light coming from up here. And I'm like, good, because I don't want to fill that out. <laughs> But I like the way my colors worked. Um, the sunflowers, <coughs> excuse me, are not quite the right color that I wanted, but that was the, the colors that were available to me. But I'm happy overall um, with how it came out. And I ventured out. And I don't think normally I would ever put 
this color of blue with this, but I like it, you know, and I did it because I didn't want to pull more colors because I tend to do that. Like everything has to be a different color and I'm trying to train myself that not everything has to be a different color. So, um, but yeah, the, I really like the way they went down, down here. But then again, I wasn't trying to make them smooth. It just, this dark teal was really dark and very um scratchy i mean it looks like i put black in there but it's not it's a dark teal and it's just very it didn't want to blend with everything else it was a very dry pencil and some of the colors like the yellows were so soft but the blues i felt were a little harder and i mean that's just chemistry um you'll get that like not all the pencils are the same because of chemistry because all pencils are a recipe you know pigments are a recipe and they have different chemical properties and once you understand that then you know you understand why they're there uh, some pencils are or a different texture than others when you put them down but I mean overall would I do another whole picture in uh, uh, on Amazon paper with the Art X pencils probably not um, they'd be really good sheeting pencils. Um, I just don't feel like they give me the coverage that I want. I had to use a blender pencil, um, to get them to look this nice. Um, of course, part of it was I was going around all these flowers and it's just like, ugh, you know, trying to, to get the pencil in there and they're, they're, they have a really sticky texture oh and I meant to say like I um <laughs> I I filmed this I don't know at this point what I'm gonna cut out um or if anything but I realized I was filming off camera and you might not notice it because I speeded it up but um I was filming off camera and, <laughs> and then I just ended up finishing the picture um not on camera which is fine. I'll try to do better in the future. <laughs> I mean, I think it's probably like, what, 30 seconds or 25 seconds of me coloring. Um, and it was more like half an hour or an hour. It didn't take me that long to finish this. And I, I, I am pleased with it overall. But I wouldn't do it again. Um, not an entire picture on Amazon paper with the Art X pencils. So... I did put them all back in their thing. And I am, um, I mean, I like the colors. They're just very, do you know what I mean when when I, I say sticky? Like, uh, let me see one. I mean, the greens did it. They're, it's hard to explain. Um, this is blank paper. Not really sticky, but not sticky, not soft, kind of like, um, uh, I can't explain the texture because it's, it's colored pencil texture. You know, like this one goes down really dark and nice. Um, it's just, this is different paper. They're, they're so much better on not Amazon paper than they are, um, on the Amazon paper so uh, and I I do wish there were some more light colors um, I feel like they're very dark which is fine you need you need dark pencils um, the greens were interesting I do I mean all the greens seem to go together just some of these colors some of these dark colors are a little bit a little bit tiny bit crumbly I mean I'm I'm nitpicking I'm just trying to give you all the information because I really didn't have to sweep much but some of the when you get to the darker colors they seem to be just a, a little more crumbly than the other colors so do I like them overall yeah they're pretty um and it really depends on what colors you want to color with every that's that's how I do every set of pencils I don't I very rarely say, I'm going to use this set of pencils. Um, I look through my swatch charts and I try to find 
the colors that I want to use. And then I ask myself, do these pencils work with this paper? Which hopefully I can find out. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I just have to figure it out on my own. So let me put this book away. Yay, another colored picture. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> and until the next set of pencils. And then let me get some other books out and we will test them on some other paper. All right, I have my sheet out here. I made the note that they don't blend well on Amazon paper. They're not bad. I think they're better as a single color, maybe two colors, but more layers than that. It just, they seem to just scooch around on top of each other, if that is useful. Um, so let's see. So I've got my stack of books over here and we'll start with my color page. Let me get a couple of pencils out, which I did not do. What colors do we want to do? Do we want to do an, a red? What color did I use for the chili pepper and All right, I've got my sheet here. I've got to put this over here. Um, I made a note that it does not blend well on Amazon paper. Um, so we'll start with, I've got my stack of books over here. And, oh, I wanted to mention, like when I was coloring this picture, um, I started, I took the white pencil, right? And I was going like this to blend. Cause you know, sometimes you can blend with a white pencil. And it just wasn't doing anything. Not that I expected it to, um, but like I expected it to do something. And it was just pushing around the color. It really wasn't, this white pencil wasn't doing anything. Now it's nice on its own. It's not bad because you can see like our pencil test. It really wasn't bad, but it just doesn't flow well on this paper I guess and it was just mooshing it around not really blending with it at all they seem to kind of not want to just go together you got to work at it a little bit they kind of lay on top of each other it's funny how it always seems like they kind of blend and then you start working with them and they don't um so let's see what was I doing here all right, so I've got this picture. We'll have to find a pencil for that. So I've got this color test page. We'll do this. I've got some, I've got a red um, and a blue and a yellow and a black and a white. So I'm gonna do, and I really like this canary yellow. <laughs> the canary yellow was nice. So I'll put down some canary yellow. And maybe I should just bring it in just a hair. Put down some canary yellow and then some blue. This is a cerulean blue. So they seem to blend okay. We'll do a red. I mean, I get good coverage. They seem to like this paper better. Um, see how the, see how the red wants to lay on top of the, the yellow? It just seems like the different colors don't blend the same way. Um, cause this red is l more laying on top of this. Whereas these are kind of blending. So, um, but they do like the paper. They they come off. Let me try that. Um, that dark teal that was so... Yeah. Mm, it, 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 they do like this paper, I will say. Um, but they're still not blending great. I would not call that great blending at all. I should label these the... Uh, Artex. Um, I mean, until you do a picture, you don't know, I guess. Let's see. Oh, um, 
did I do with that? I used Curling Violet and Crimson Lake. Mm, oh no, I don't want to use the same. Um, we'll use maybe these two colors. Hopefully they blend together. So here's a couple of pinks. I've got Peach Puff and Baker Miller Pink. So we will come down here and see how it does in small victories. So here's your first layer. And the color that comes out does not match that very well at all, which is fine. I don't I don't really expect them to, to be honest. They do have a waxy bloom, which I expected, because they are waxy. And you will notice that. I think that's what I'm trying to say when I call them sticky. And some pencils are stickier than others. But you still see how they don't really... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I did this. Uh, zoomed it in and I forgot. So you see how they're still not really blending together. I mean, they are, but they're not. Um, look, I can make the... Ta-da! So we'll just color in the rest of this flower. I could make the other side. Mm -hmm. Can I make it darker? I don't know. Will I regret it? I don't know. see here and someone pointed out the last time that um, let me use the crimson I want to use the Let's see if this works um, someone pointed out that I forgot to use a test on um, creative haven paper and they were right I completely forgot so I pulled out some creative haven books Let's see how these colors go together. I've got Perline Violet and... Hmm. They just kind of... I mean, this one, they slide around. This paper is smoother than this. This has this the paper um, in this book has more texture than this, so I like them better in the magical jungle. I find that they um, seem to blend a little better. I don't know if I could find a flower and do the same thing. Can I find a flower in here? Um, that's not huge. And really, my pencil needs to be sharper. Let's see what they do on this paper. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Definitely, I could use them in a Joanna Basford book just not tiny victories. Um, I still don't know exactly how many layers. They're still going to moosh around. I don't know that I would do more than two. Ooh, let me see. Let me find a really dark color. I'll try to put a dark color down in here. So it does work. Um, do I love it? I mean, they're still going to be splotchy. Because see this. See how it's 
blotchy. Oops. Right there. And they're, they're just not, I mean, they blend, but they don't blend. I mean, you can get a really good look. It's going to take you a little, you're going to have to work a little harder. I mean, if you're used to using Prismacolors, well then, yeah, you're going to work hard. So there's that. Let's see, I've got Circle of Life, but, oh, which is a smoother paper. Um, I didn't write down that these were Amazon basics. Okay. So we'll do the, um, it'd be nice if I could lay the book down. There we go. So we'll do the yellow. Find the yellow. See, this is what happens when I start coloring. I get pencils all over the place. <laughs> this canary yellow is so nice. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I like it so much. Hmm. I still wouldn't call that blending. <clears throat> no, they don't. I don't really like them. I mean, they would give you a nice um, color on um, if you were doing a single color because they seem to, you know, kind of work well. You can see that they work better than the Amazon Basics. So, eh, I, I'm not. Convinced? <laughs> Not convinced I like them on that paper. Alright, I've got Eerie. Let's see, what did I do in Eerie? It's hard to keep track of where. I know I put. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's see. Mm, do we want to do a little bit of green? Oh, that's a dark teal. Hmm. Let's see what you do. Let's see, so, oof. Hit my light. One of my lights. So you can see though, it doesn't really move the other color. It's blending a little bit. This one. Where did my other green go? Crap, there it is. Try it with that color. Nah. I mean, I can't get it to take away the line, though. But, I mean, they're great single-color pencils. But then again, I was doing... Okay, so I was doing what I don't normally do. And putting the um, dark on top. Oh, is that the dark teal again? No. So I get a little better result. When I don't, this is why I don't put the the dark on the bottom, because I always get a line. So you can kind of get rid of it a little more if you, um, it's not a bad blend. I mean, my colors weren't great, to be honest. Let's see. But, meh. I don't uh, love it, so they're okay in Eerie books. Not bad, but uh, yeah, I would, if you want to blend, you're not going to do very well in that. Let's see, what do we got? 
Millie Murata. Oh, let's see. Oops. Use this other red. Ooh, see. Now this paper is smooth. The Erie paper is kind of special though. <laughs> it's not like anything else, I'm pretty sure, because it's Japanese. At least I think I have the Japanese. See, look, not blending at all on this paper. Let me try the the yellow and then putting the red on top of. Mm -mm. Nope. Great coverage. Great, great coverage for a single color. But getting them to blend together um, is going to be work. A lot of work. So not too happy with that. Let me try a little bit of blue and yellow. Mm. Nope. They go down lovely on this paper, but then they don't want to blend with each other. A little bit, not much. Not impressed. Not impressed on that one. So that was Millie Murata. I'll make these notes and show the thing at the end. All right, so I have one in. Am I doing one in here? Or did I do it on the back or the front? I need to mark my pages. Okay. So Kirby Roseanne's. This is, uh, what? Anamorphia. always pick up the wrong red and because I have books laying over here so here's the red now this this uh, paper has more texture but I just don't think I'm gonna get any I mean they go down great first layer look at that but they're just not I mean blends a little better on this paper and I would totally use them for a base a base on the Millie Murata they they like the smoother paper like smoother barely textured just not Amazon paper um so this was Amazon but yeah it would be a lot of work uh, to use them in this book, but they would make a nice base. You could just lay down some color with these suckers. I mean, and they're a nice, rich, deep color. So that may be their um, function, you know, their best function as a base color, a base for something else. Um, and I haven't really checked to see how they blend with other pencils. I guess I could do that. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so I went through and put marks in all my books so I know where I'm going to and I don't have to waste my time <laughs> looking for what I was doing. I don't know why I didn't do that last time, but anyway, we're in the home stretch. Um, here is a um, Rita Berman, De Welt unter de Lupe, Zuland. My German friends would cringe and go, what the heck did you say? Because my French messes with my German. Um, but anyway, I grabbed the wrong... Oh, no, no. I decided I was going to do my testing back here. Because <laughs> I had done it on a picture, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to ruin my pictures. All right, so we've got our trusty yellow try to go in and I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing in the camera it's hard so here is a red and it's never the red I want to pick up I always pick up the wrong one but still I'm just not seeing um, the blending this is a very smooth paper and I'm still just seeing them laying on top of one another I'm not really seeing them blending together, shall we say? <laughs> well, that's what it's called. Why are we not saying that? Yeah, so, I mean, I think that 
it looks green because the yellow is laying on top of the blue and it's causing it. So, I mean, but I don't think they're actually blending together. However, that gives a look that is desired. So, you know, and these just lay down magnificently on this paper. Um, so good base coat pencil, definitely. Um, I'm liking, I'm liking the way that feels. I don't know if I could do, well, let me see if I could get my greens to blend. We'll do this anyway. <laughs> it's not going to hurt the leaves, is it? So here's my base, which is very nice. I love how quickly it goes down. Um, let's see, what color was this? Grass green, that'll be fine. And it uh, lays down nice, but I still think they're just pushing each other. So you can get a decent result. It's not that you can't use them. I still feel like they're just pushing each other around on the book. So not really, truly blending, but it's not a bit, I mean, you could do this whole page with those. It just it's just the first layer is so nice to lay down you know what I mean I, that's what I love for these these are just beautiful just easy coverage lay down just whoosh, 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 and you're done and that is fabulous like my sound effects okay so now I have uh, Lulu Mayo a million cats so I was doing there aren't really pages you can test on in here so, what are we going to color? Something. Some part of this, maybe. Since we've got some... Oh, yeah, we're doing, like, a pinky a pinky theme. Um, let's see. I'm probably going to get the same effect in here. I mean, it just lays down like a dream. Look how easy that... This pencil isn't even sharp. And it's just laying down. These are fabulous for that. Look at that. Just boom, and it's down. Now let's do some... I need to try to put these down for blending. Let's do some pink here. And we will color the whole thing pink. And then here's what we're going to do. This won't take long. I mean, I gotta, I gotta at least have a cohesive picture when I'm done. <laughs> right, so we will put some on here, but yep, yeah, I'm getting the same, same feel. I don't really expect to feel anything different or earth shaking in these, you know, and trying to blend. It's very tough to get this second color to lay down. Of course, this paper is very smooth, and I I do kind of expect that. Don't ask me what I'm doing with this. I have no idea. It'll look cool when it's done, right? But yeah, once you get that first color down, the second color, you can feel it slide on top. So, eh, not really good on that. Let's see, here I have a... I have Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. This is the American version. Let's see. Did you see the title? Yeah. I realized I still have my camera zoomed in. All right, so this may take a minute. Because I've, uh, I've got to find a brown. I have to decide in the future if I'm just going to pause the camera and put some clips in. I had a couple of, yeah, like these. I need, I need camel and maybe antique brass because this is going to be possibly a um oh i'm on the wrong side that's why that's camel and this is antique brass right here all right we'll see how these go and <laughs> the, the here's the, the camel how the tip looks and the antique the antique brass is sort of close. Hmm, I don't know about the camel. Yeah. Do I have a color another color maybe? 
Um, how about old gold instead? Hmm. <laughs> I think it's this one, which is honestly like a green color. All right, so here we go. I mean, in a way, I was thinking, oh, I want, I want the feathers to look different. Maybe like they came from different birds. Um. Now we'll just lay it all down. It lays down beautifully. It's just swooshing down the color. Great coverage. Loving that. So now I've got my um, old gold that I'm going to lay on top. Now this is much better. I feel like the pencil that's on the second layer is actually grabbing. And I'm getting, I'm not having to work very hard to put that color down on there. So this would not, in my opinion, I don't think, be a miserable experience. Light aqua. To, to put these you know, to do in here. I'm liking that. That that feels good. All right, so jewelry boxes, or Hannah Carlson is yes. And I'm sure that if it's good on the, um, I say that like I'm an expert, I'm sure if it's good on the American paper, it'll be good on <laughs> the European paper, right? So here we've got, um, this is Universe by Mary Maria Troll, which is kind of a collection, but it has some new illustrations in it. Um, and I thought this would be a good one. I was working on the flower. I need to get like a... Oh, sorry. There's a cat behind me. My bad. Sorry, Scotty. Um, I want to use like a golden or a sunburst. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm sorry. All right. So let's continue on with our flower here. Ooh, that lays down so like I am barely touching. This is very smooth paper. This is this is different than the um, Hannah Carlson paper. It's very smooth, but these just lay down. I see why people like them. They're just a dream to lay down on this paper. And then here's my second color. It's not as nice as the Hannah Carlson paper, I think, because this is so smooth. So I'm having a hard time getting the second color to even come off on here. It's doable. But it's just, and it's, and it's mixing well. Like, it, I don't feel like I'm getting that splotchiness. Um... A little underneath there to fill out my petals since I'm coloring this so slowly I might as well get some work done while we're here right but look how lovely that is beautiful 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 I can come in with my other color on top of it motorcycle okay so there you can see it close up it's not bad I mean it wouldn't it's just if layering layering will be a miserable experience I think because you just feel it sliding but the, the Hannah Garlson book is amazing this paper I don't know I would have to have the European version um, to see and see how much darker the the Amazon Basics came out much. It was easier to put the second layer on as opposed to here. Because I just can't get any. I'm having a hard time getting the color payout. Even if I use like a darker color. I'm going to try that. Put a little darker color on here and see. This 
picture might be pretty when we're done. <laughs> uh, it'll be fun when we get to the pastels. Um, actually, I don't think there's enough flowers in here for all of my pencil sets, so I'm iffy on the Maria Chol. Now, to add, um, let me zoom out for a second. Um, for this one, um, for Creative Haven, because someone had told me I didn't do testing on Creative Haven paper, there are two different kinds because on the newer books, they kind of changed their paper. So the newer paper is a bit rougher, uh, has a little more texture to it than the older paper. This one was printed in 2019. Yeah, and I had a marker bleed. 2018. So this paper is the old style, very smooth paper. This one was printed in 2022 and is a, has more tooth to it. It's still pretty smooth, but it has, a, you can tell a different difference when you touch it. Um, but they're about the same thickness. So let's do the old paper. And I can't remember when they started using the new paper. It was, it was probably in 21 or 22. It wasn't all that long ago. So the majority of the, if you have a lot of the older books like I do, you'll have this smooth paper. And yeah, I was so happy with this picture. And I, ha I don't think I have the markers that bled anymore because once I find out that markers bleed, and I always test them now. Um, I don't think I thought that these bled, but they do. And obviously it was the green kind of left. That's kind of a neat effect. <laughs> I like that. Um, so I just use this for testing. Um, let's try try my handy green color. Lays down beautifully. This is the smooth paper. Just lovely. I can tell it's sliding a bit though, which is what I expect. And then this is the grass green. Ooh, that lays. That's a. Uh, grabbing on nicely. I am not really working hard to put this second layer down here. I don't know how many layers you could do. Do I have a darker color? I'll use this. Um, yeah, third layer. Third layer is going on really nice. So definite in the older, um, older Amazon paper. Liking that it is, here, let me hold that up. So you can see it, it looks nice. I mean, I personally didn't do a great job, but it did um, cohese together well. And my, you just have to forgive my color, my sloppy coloring. But this would not be a miserable experience to color with these in this book, I don't think. Let's do, um, we'll just label this one A-R-R-T-X upside down. Then I have Plant Mom, which I picked out a page, and we'll do oh, something on here. Let's see, we're going to have a blue hat. Ooh. So the tooth is grabbing it, but it's not as nice as on the smooth paper. Um, I don't like the lay down. This is going to be kind of splotchy lays down i mean it feels nice it goes down quick i mean look how quickly i'm covering with this again you'll have to forgive the sloppy coloring so we'll do this to color this hat now do i have a darker color to lay down on top of it um, let me get one. A nice dark indigo. So here we go. Here's a dark, a dark color. I can zoom in a hair. Oh, so where's it going to be down here? Yeah, that's, I'm not working at all. I'm barely holding the pencil. So it's laying down. It's not bad. I still like it on the other paper better. And I feel like it's going to look, I think with these pencils, it'll always look splotchy, no matter what you do, except on the Hannah Carl's on paper, which is surprising me. Just 
put in some shading like that. Boom. There you go. But, um, and I'm sure I could go over this with some work. I could go over this and with, with a lot of work, you can pretty much make anything. I mean, you can color a picture with any pencils. You can do a good job with any set of pencils. Uh, it's just, how do you rate the experience of coloring with them? And I don't like them as much in this, but I would still use them as a base if I wanted to. So I had another idea. Um, that's all the paper. If there is something else that I am missing, um, let me know. Uh, like I said, Creative Haven. I can't believe I forgot that because I have a million Creative Haven books. Let me um, get a piece of paper and I'm going to see if these blend with like Prismacolors and Polychromos and maybe a color pencil or something and see how they do. Okay, so I grabbed some pencils. Um, I have Sioux Color here. And I'm going to try to use what I have laying out. Um, let's see, if I was going to lay down a base of, say, I don't know, red, chili pepper, yeah, so we'll do, now this is my Ardex pencil that I'm putting down here. Alright, so I need a red... I guess I should have got these out beforehand, but now I know, and there's like 180 pencils, so these may be, <laughs> which end is it on? Uh, there we go, I have a feeling this is the right end, okay. So let me grab a red, so this is a uh, bright orange right now, I don't want orange, I need bright red, here we go, red. This is a Sioux Color Red, so we're going to put it on top of this one, and this is just a piece of cardstock. Um, so you could lay them on top of each other. I mean, I don't know, again, how many layers I'm going to get. Let me get another weird, we can get a weird color and put it on top, right? So you can see it, but I'm not getting like it's not coming off there. So I probably don't need to do more than one color. Um, so you get a first layer and a second layer. The third layer just kind of goes bleh. And um, see, I was going to do like a yellow. Yellow. There's just a yellow somewhere, I thought. Yellow, yellow. Nope. Canary yellow. Love canary yellow. So, not really blending. Laying on top of each other. So, not blending with those. Uh, and these are the only black barrel pencils. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. So, I'm going to just let that stand. So, eh. Not really liking the way they react with each other. Alright, so I have my Black Widows here. Uh, and then... Here is my Black Widow. So we will um, put some red down. I'm using Blood Red, I think. Which is in the Scorpion set. Um, then we'll put a, a yellow Ardex on top. Hmm. Doesn't really change it that much. Let's put some yellow Ardex down and then put the blood red on top. That gets a little splotchy, doesn't it? Look at that. So, eh, not really with the Black Widows. Here's a another color like a purple. I was just trying to see. Yeah, it looks like you'll get a lot of splotchy. Splotchy, splotchy. This is a dark color. I'm just curious. I don't know what color I'm supposed to be making. Black, apparently. <laughs> so, eh, not really uh, 
Not really impressed with that. So let me put these back and get some different colors. Okay, I decided to add Brute Funer Square to my list here. Um, so I have a Brute Funer yellow pencil, which just goes down like a dream. Then we'll take the um, Ardex Red and see what it does. Hmm. It's not really mixing there. <laughs> uh, this is just a quick, uh, quick and dirty test. I don't know. Can I smoosh another color on top? Yeah, these aren't too bad. These actually leave some color on top of the waxy. I think it's just because they're so waxy. But, eh, not impressed so far with that. Maybe they don't mix with any pencils. <laughs> Let me see what else. Okay, I can in the interest of testing, I got out my Crayola pencils. So let's see what they do. There's a red one. Mm, I think that's red. I'm winging it. Let's see. We'll put a yellow Art X down. Hmm. Those kind of blend together. Let's do this. This is not like a scientific experiment or anything. But you know what? <laughs> Those might uh, go together better. I mean, still smooshing. I'm noticing they're still smooshing. Uh, probably because the Crayolas are so hard. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. They lay on top of each other. I kind of like the Ardex on top of the Crayola better. Because this is the Ardex on top of the Crayola and the Crayola on top of the Ardex. So... Mm -hmm. Oh, let's let's see if we can just add more layering on here. Mm. I think you get gaps when you try to do that, just because these are too hard. Oh, I don't want to do that there. Wouldn't be the same thing. All right, what else do I have? All right, Prismacolor. So here's my, this is a, what color is this? Scarlet, Scarlet Lake. Put it down on here. We've got our yellow Ardex. I'll put some down over here because we're going to try it on top. Hmm. Wow. I can't even see it. <laughs> Look at that. Woohoo. Okay, that, that worked weird. Didn't expect that. Let's put the Prismacolor on top of the Ardex and see what happens. Hmm. Interesting. I can't really tell. Let's put... It doesn't really do anything. That's weird, though. I mean, so they're not mixing together is what that's telling me at all. Uh, like, the yellow is just laying on top of there and peeling up the Prismacolor. Hmm. Interesting. All right. But I... I wonder if you could lay, ooh, this is a blue, so this is going to be bad. But you can lay on top of them, let me tell you. Of course, I would expect you could do anything with a Prismacolor. So, alright. Uh, next. Alright, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to do a Dermot Light Fast. So here's a red. This is cherry red, by the way, because I know a lot of people have Derwent Light Fest. And we'll put down our Ardex yellow, which is like better. And it doesn't really mix with it either. Not shocking. Can't even tell. And then what does the Light Fest do on top of the Ardex? Kind of, that's so weird. 
it really just covers them up. So you couldn't use those together that I know of. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have a polychromos laying around here? Probably. But I'll go pull them out anyway. So I need Color Polychromos. Castle Art. Oh. <laughs> Lord, you, you people should have told me. You're probably yelling at me going, it's already up here. But I can't read. So. So I have Color Polychromos and Castle Art Gold. All right. I have a Color Pencil. This is a Cochineal Red. I have the black barreled ones too, but I'm not going to. Go ahead and put that down there. Probably need to sharpen this pencil. Let's see. Well, I don't know. It's blending a little bit. Let's try. I guess the the moral of the story is if you're gonna use a pencil with them, put it on top. That seems to be the way you get the best reaction. These seem to go together pretty well. Even though, you know, not the best blend, but it is kind of turning orange. All right, uh, Polychromo. Okay, Polychromos. This is Deep Red. Thorough Deep Red. Anyway, I don't have my reading glasses on. I think it's 223. So here is my Polychromos. Here is my Artex pencil, which is getting colors on it. We're going to put it on top of the Polychromos, and it's not really doing anything. <laughs> Let's try the Polychromos on top of the Artex pencil. Yep, well, splotchy, splotchy. I get more... Um, Splotchiness. I'm trying to do even pressure. Hmm. Eh. I don't know. You can you can be the judge. I'm just putting the the test out there, and you can decide. All right. Castle Art Gold is the last one. Okie dokie. I've got my Castle Art Golds, and I've got uh, Vermilion. It lays down nice. Here's my Ardex yellow. And let's see. Eh, not really doing anything either. Let's try on top. Do I have an orange? I kind of have an orange. It's a little bit splotchy. Not bad. So after all of this, what would I say? If you're going to use pencils together, I think the color work the best. If you're going to pick a pencil to use with your Artex, the Castle Arts aren't bad. Um, but yeah, color, color definitely meshes a little better. Totally. All right, so there's that. I will come back with my final thoughts. Okay, in conclusion, um, I've got all my pencils put away. And they're all back in here. Um, <laughs> I've had them spread out. I have a very bad habit of just piling stuff on and doing stuff on top of it. And that's another thing I'm trying to break myself of. So I apologize. That will improve in the future. We are all working through our struggles <laughs> and that is one that I definitely need to break so um anyway so we have gone through the sheet I made some notes um it uh it likes paper that's a bit smoother not too smooth um maybe a touch of texture it's a good base color pencil like, if you just want a straight color, it just lays down, you know. Um, 
it does not really blend all that well. Colors tend to lay on top of each other. Uh, it has a waxy texture. Um, it's best used on its own as a basing pencil, in my opinion, um, or for straight coloring. Works best in conjunction with Color Pencils or Castle Art Golds, in my opinion, based on the little test that we did. Now, I didn't try all the pencils. Basically, I pulled out all the pencils that I see used most often. Um, so, there's, because I have a lot of sets of pencils, and to test them all, some of them are obscure, so to test them all. However, if there is one that you would like me to add that you did not see, I am happy to do so. Um, I'll have to make myself a little testing chart for the future. Um, let's see, does not do well on Amazon paper, I don't think. Um, the first layer, even on the Amazon paper, one layer was kind of eh. It didn't seem to, to go down as easily as on the smoother paper. So you definitely want a smoother paper with this one. Um, but not too smooth. It has to have just a tiny bit of tooth, you know. Um, it's good in the big, big Johanna Basford books, but not small victories because the paper's too smooth. Um, Hannah Carlson, I think, is the one that I performed the best in. And the American version. I, I don't know about the European version. And Maria Troll, it was pretty good. I was happy with the results in the Maria Trolla book. Uh, so there you go. That's what I have learned about my Ardex pencils. And let me know, is this useful for me to do this? It was just something like literally I thought up when I was doing this pencil test because I was staring at these Prismacolors and I'm like, well, if I'm telling you to use it as a basing pencil, how do I know it works with anything? So that's why I came up with this to see what it, they would do and which ones it would mix with. If you think that's useful, let me know. If you think it's a bunch of crap and not really needed, then I won't bother. So <laughs> uh, eventually we'll know some of them work with other things, <laughs> right? Um, so yay, is another one done. We're gonna check, check off the Ardex pencils and the next are the Arteza experts and I'm going to try to get these out faster not too fast but um I'm going to start working on the next one because I mean they, it can take a long time to do and I'm going to try to be slower and not so fast yet keep the video at not too long of a, a video but um anyway if there's any questions let me know if there's any comments um I'm happy to answer any questions about these pencils that I did not think of, if you have questions. Um, so thank you so much for watching and being here with me to get to know my Ardex colored pencils. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.